How did I get here? Well, it's a long story, but Virginia Home for Boys and Girls is a place for kids like me, and maybe you. Every kid I've met here has their own story, and they're all different. We do have something in common, and it's that we're looking for a forever home or trying to go back to our families. I'm technically in foster care, but this is where I'm staying for now. I've had a lot of bad things happen to me in my life, and because of that, I have a hard time with my anger and other behaviors. I need to learn how to live in a family, so I'm here in a group home program. There are four homes here, boys homes and girls homes, and the staff here are helping me with my transition. They're not my family, but it sometimes can feel like it. The houses are really nice, nicer than any group home I've ever seen. Even my social worker says it's true. We have a large living room area where we watch TV or have family-like talks. The kitchen is always busy with someone cooking. I like to make my special chocolate chip cookies. The kitchen table is where we eat, but also where we plan and learn things. I'm learning to be accountable for my actions, and this is where I talk about what bothers me or gets me upset, and everyone helps me with that. I share a bedroom with someone, but it's a big room. Honestly, I don't keep it very neat, but I try. The entertainment room is awesome. We play games in here and sometimes make a lot of noise. We cook out on our patio. My favorite thing is grilling hot dogs. We've all got our own bites. I love, love, love to ride. There's something like 30 acres around here and we can ride our bikes in the courtyard or the street. I just feel better when I ride. This summer, we spent a lot of time swimming. The pool is just a short walk from my group home. And there's a garden right next to the pool where I planted flowers and vegetables. We had fun picking what we grew, and the boys in House 13 made a salad because of us. Most of the kids in my group home go to public school, and the school bus picks them up. Because I need extra help in school, and I just have a rough time behaving, I'm going to the John G. Wood School, which is right across the street from the pool on campus. It takes me like a minute to walk there in the morning, and some of the other students in my class don't live here, so it's neat to make friends that I don't see all the time. I really want to go back to my public school, and I will eventually, but it's pretty cool here too. I don't take the wood shop class, but they make all kinds of wood projects and get something called CTE credits. Art class is my favorite. I didn't even know I liked doing art, at least not something I'd be proud of. I'm so good, I even have my art on the wall in my group home. And the teacher hung some of my artwork in the fellowship hall where lots of people see it. If I'm here next year, I'm going to get in the culinary arts program. I cook all the time and I think I might like it as a career. They just remodeled the campus dining hall so everything is brand new. I went on a tour and got excited about learning to use the kitchen equipment. I could get CTE credits for completing this program. The school has all the regular classes too. You know, math, English, history, science. Oh, we do a lot of outside learning in science class. We planted plants to attract butterflies and that was really fun. But not everything or every day is all fun. I don't like going to our campus gym and watching our basketball team play against other schools. It's just not my thing but we have an eagle mascot that's fun to watch, and it's a place for PE class when it's raining. I've played badminton in there, and it was fun. Like I said, I have stuff I have to work on. Sometimes I just feel awful. There's a therapeutic resource center here where I get counseling and therapy, and sometimes I see the psychiatrist on Fridays for the medicine I take. The nurse here is very sweet to me. I like her. We're located in an area that is close to things like shopping centers, museums, and a sports stadium. We also have taken trips to the mountains and the beach, and I look forward to going again. One of the guys in the group home next to mine turned 18. He's really excited because there's another program for him here. They call it an independent living arrangement. It's not a group home. It's a townhouse he's going to share with another guy. At his going away party, I was happy that he was happy he had a place to go where he felt comfortable. He's working and going to school, but he's going to come back and visit us and tell us all about living on his own. Honestly, 
I didn't want to come here. But now that I'm here, I'm starting to plan for the life I want to have. I'm really close to my youth counselor, and she says I'm working hard and deserve a bright future. I think I do too.